Something's tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here I'm a conqueror, I know that I win, I know who I am. God wrote it in his plan for me. Oh, 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 oh. my name is Victory. Good morning, people of Victory, and it is me, Nikki Nicole, Nikki B, whatever one of you would want to call me, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is December 2nd, this Christmas Day 2. So the reason why I named this vlog, Christmas vlog, I'm not doing Vlogmas, I'm doing my own thing. I named it this Christmas because this Christmas was my son's favorite Christmas song. He loved it. He sung it every year. Um, and many of you may know or may not know my son is deceased. He passed away December 26th of 2014. So this Christmas vlog, the whole month of till we get to Christmas, December 26th, I got a special treat for y'all on December 26th. We're going to dedicate it to him. So that's why this is called this Christmas because it's dedicated to my son. So this is this Christmas day two. And today we're simply doing nothing but doing some stuff around. I call it my house because I'm speaking into existence where God is taking me. But around my apartment, it's not this, that, it's not that big, but I do have some things that I'm going to do. I went to my storage when I went home for Thanksgiving and got some pictures and um, some of my mirrors. Y'all didn't even realize how many mirrors I had out of my storage so I can kind of decorate this place a little bit and make it feel more homely. Um, you know, I did get some furniture. I um, bought me a furniture set for my birthday. It was my birthday this gift to myself. So now I really want to go ahead and get the living room decorated. I did go look for my tree yesterday. Didn't find the color that I want. So once I'm done doing things around the house, I got clothes out of the storage. I told y'all on yesterday that I need to wash. I did put on a load last night, so we're going to do that. We're just going to do around the house today. And maybe later on, I'll take y'all out. See how y'all act. But anyway, I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. If you're watching this video for the first time and you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you will know every time I upload a video. Because I know you want to know what's going on with my life. And I want to know what's going on with you. So make sure that you comment down below. And I most definitely will come back, reply back to you, talk to you, love on you, whatever you need. So anyway, it's time to get to work. Bye. Okay, y'all. So we're about to get started. You see I'm in the kitchen. I am sorting out the clothes. Um, I'm one of those people that I do not wash or wash everything all together i have to separate the clothes so you see i'm cleaning out one of the storage bins and i i wash the darks with the darks i wash the light gray by themselves i, I wash the loud colors by themselves white with whites um i do not wash sweaters and dress shirts together everything is washed se separately so i do separate my clothes before i wash them mainly because i don't want my loud clothes to look dingy and i don't want my light gray clothes to look black so i separate my clothing before i wash them so that's what you see me doing right now um just separating so that i can prepare myself to just easily go to the washing machine put them in the washer and then, you know, go from there. It is much, much better if you sort out your clothes. So this is how I do my laundry. I sort everything first. And then I go from there with doing my laundry. With the laundry. And while the laundry going, then we're going to go ahead and put 
um, the few little pictures I got up on the wall. Clean the bathroom, straighten out my closet, got to clean all that. I also got to take the linen off the bed, get that washed. I have other linen, but I have fell in love with my gray sheets, so I'm going to wash those, put them back on the bed. So, let's get started. So, we're about to get started with washing or some say laundry i'm from the south so we say washing <laughs> but anyway so as you can see now i am putting my first load in to the washer well i'm actually putting the first load that i washed last night in the dryer excuse me um those are my silk robes like i say i wash everything separately so those are all of my silk robes um that were packed down in the storage so that's what you see me doing now. I'm putting those into the dryer. So now that we have finished putting that load in the dryer, now we're getting ready to start up our first load for the ones that you just saw me sort out. Um, you now you get your detergent first. I like to use Game, um, but that's actually the Walmart brand. Um, always measure, measure your detergent. It lasts longer if you measure it instead of just pouring it into um, into the washer um, I always measure and then now you see me using these crystals purex crystals this is my first time using those so we're gonna see um, what they do um, they smell really good as you can see they they are a beautiful blue color um, but they they are very they smell really good so we're gonna try it out and see um, those are not the ones that I normally use but we're just gonna try those and see And like I say, as far as, as measuring, make sure that you measure measure your detergent. It will last longer than just pouring it in there. Um, what they say on the bottle is exactly what you need to get, get your clothes clean. Because sometimes you can overly put too much detergent or too much bleach. And that bleach, if you put too much, it will turn your clothes, your white clothes, yellow. So, as you can see, I'm putting those clothes in the dryer. And I'm just rambling on as I put the clothes in the washer. I'm sorry. Um to begin that first load. And another thing that you do not want to do, that is do not load your, overload your washer with too many clothes. Do not overload your washer because you want your clothes to be able to move around and get clean. So do not overstuff your washing machine. that's pretty much it as far as that first load I'm just picking up the socks and um, just a few little light clothes off of the floor to go into that load and that's gonna be pretty much what it is for the first load oops I forgot to put in the fabric softener I told you I use game fabric softener um, smells really good as well those are three, th the three things that I use detergent the, the um, pods or petals or whatever you want to call them fabric softener and if I'm using white, white clothes of course I use Clorox so don't forget to measure all you need is a little of that I promise you you your clothes will smell so good so anyway that's it that's our first load and let's keep moving 
Okay, y'all, so what I'm about to do is put that mirror and that picture that you see up on the wall in the hallway to cover up the air conditioning um, vent because that looks really bad. And that's the first thing that you see when you walk into the apartment because that's facing you. So I'm gonna take the hook off of the mirror and put it in the middle. Um, please don't come for me for the back of the mirror. It is an old mirror and I've had it a long time, but who cares? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna put that up on the wall just to cover up that area, try to make it look a little better, make it look just a little tad bit elegant or better than it was. I would rather that be covered up. So we gonna see. Okay, so here is the outcome of that. Um, the picture says, for me in my house, we will serve the Lord, which is definitely the truth. God is first in my life. Um, so if you live here, you're gonna serve the Lord. <laughs> anyway, this is the outcome. This is the other picture that I put up. This is also in my storage. Um, just happened to go good with um, the color scheme that I'm going for in the living room. So that's the other picture that I put up on the wall. And it's really cute um, to me. So that's the store. You see, I got storage boxes and I got boxes everywhere. Um, so currently, I'm about to get this kitchen together. Um, okay, so now we're about to wash these dishes, you guys. Um, these are the dishes that I had in storage. As I told y'all, this stuff has been in storage for over a year. So, of course, I have to sanitize them before even attempting to use them. So, that's what I'm currently doing, trying to get those dishes clean. Um, I'm from the old school. Yes, I do have a dishwasher, but I prefer to wash dishes by hand. That's just what I do. So, as you can see, we're finishing up. Um, it was a bunch of them, y'all. It was more than I thought. Plus, I had some dishes in there anyway <laughs> that needed to be washed. So, we're finishing up, fish, finishing up the dishes at this point. Um, like I say, I'm from the old school. I like to wash by hand. It is what it is. Also, you guys, I sanitize my dishes with Clorox. Yes, I do use that in my dishwater to make sure that my dishes are clean yeah that's what we do from from the old school <laughs> okay so let's get these cabinets sanitized and clean yes sanitized and clean so um as you can see i am using um the lysol wipes i don't use um dish towels a lot in the kitchen I use the wipes and that is because you know you, you, the dish towel to me you, when it sit up it sets up bacteria so I just use the Lysol uh, wipes or Clorox wipes whichever one or the great value brand whichever one um, I can get my hands on at the time um, to keep the cabinets and everything sanitized um, I did use the drift all-purpose spray but I also have those wipes um, that I clean with and there they are right there um, you can pick them up at your local Walmart Target family dollar wherever you shop um, but anyway that is what I clean with as you can see I am sanitizing the kitchen currently so let's keep moving Okay, you guys, so now we're cleaning out the freezer. Um, I think there's some ice cream or something that maybe have melted. Um, but I definitely do not like a dirty refrigerator, so we're going to go ahead and get this freezer cleaned out um, quickly. Let's keep moving. All right, y'all, so it's time to get this bathroom clean. Yes, I use Lysol. Um toilet cleaner or Lysol bathroom cleaner um, to clean out my toilet to also wipe down the bathroom I use those things as well so let's go ahead and get this toilet clean on the inside because we don't want no ring up in there you know that is so disgusting and when you go oh keep your toilet clean people please that's nasty clean out the toilet I'm serious like really serious <laughs> I don't mean no harm but don't nobody want to come over there and you have to use the bathroom they pull it up and they got a ring down there clean out your toilet baby seriously it don't take but a minute it don't take but a minute to get it clean 
And that Lysol, it, it normally runs like $1.97 a bottle, so it ain't even expensive. But that one right there does smell good. They have a regular one that's in the blue and red bottle. Don't get it. It smells like pee. <laughs> okay y'all what we have right here is the scrub and bubbles drop in and what they what these are for is just to keep the ring out your toilet and also to keep it fresh um it turns your water blue um so once you drop it in i'm gonna show you right here what it looks like when you first put it in if you hadn't had it in a while it was just a little light light blue but as it begins to soak into the water um your water is gonna become darker and darker a lot of times i put two in mine because i like mine to be blue for a long time and i like for it to last it does keep your toilet fresh you guys it keeps the ring from being around your toilet as well you can get these things for a dollar i promise you clean I supposed to be working time to tackle this room y'all clothes on the bed that needs to be folded boxes everywhere let's get it I just started doing everything from cleaning up the refrigerator to cleaning up the closet, everything, y'all. I didn't realize how many clothes that I had from the storage. I know I have a, I have a lot of clothes, but I, just, I still didn't bring them all. So, but once I got started, I couldn't stop. So it's a little bit after seven. I'm just getting finished. Um, so I hope you guys ain't too tired. I'm sorry I wore y'all out. But we have to do what we have to do. We have to get it, you know, get it straight, get it organized, and all of that. So, anyway, this will be the end of day two of this Christmas. And I hope that you enjoy being around the house with me today. Just hanging out, just cleaning, and listening to music. So, you know, I'm going to have so you know, I'm sorry that this is a voiceover. But I was playing music, so... I have to obey the rules of YouTube. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Be blessed. If you are new to this channel and you're watching me for the first time, please subscribe, like, comment, and I will reply back to you. Truly need your support. Love you guys and see you tomorrow. Be blessed. Bye. <laughs>